we now know that despite the fact that it was the Australian government that invited the US to consider positioning US troops in Australian soil, that Australia had a major sort of panic attack of nerves um, or, as American officials put it to me, cold feet or squeamishness at the last minute about going ahead with the deployment of US Marines to Darwin, which was not only one of the signature moves of the uh, Obama administration's first term, but also the most important geopolitical decision by an Australian government in at least a decade. Nobody has explicitly mentioned China as a factor. It may well have been a factor. But uh, the, the factors that people have mentioned to me, officials involved in the negotiations for both countries have said is that it was a case of Australian political squeamishness about uh, the possible reaction of the left faction of the Labor Party to a government decision uh, to base US troops here, uh, and that it was uh, a concern that it might look as if the US had been able to sort of have its way with Australia and gotten what it wanted and uh, that the Australian government had conceded more than it should have. As you know, we ended up with 2,500 uh, U.S. Marines at peak uh, going to be basing on a permanent rotating deployment in northern Australia. At one point in the in the conversation with the U.S., the Americans proposed uh, up to 7,500 Marines in Australia, and that also was enough to send the Australians uh, into a bit of a panic attack, and they negotiated that down. It ended up the American Defense Department didn't see it as desirable having that many anyway. But it was another trigger for Australian political nerves. Although the particulars of that uh, bout of nerves were, were papered over, uh, I think it's been reawakened by the cuts in the Australian defence budget. Uh, we, now have, um, we now have a bit of a pattern. Although it was Australia who said to the US, guys, um, if you're thinking about it, you're forced posture review in the Asia-Pacific, factor us in. It was Australia who sent an options paper to the US to say, here are things you can do uh, using Australia. Please come, please use us. Uh, first, the Australians uh, balked at a larger troop number of Marines in Australia. Second, the Australians balked at making the announcement and, and uh, letting a, uh, the announcement occur during the Obama visit. But third, and perhaps you know, more concretely than the others, was uh, the very serious cut to the Australian defence budget as a share of GDP that's lowest since World War II, which the Americans see as free riding on their deployment uh, of Marines to Australia. Put that together, and I think you do uh, now get serious questions being asked in Washington about the resolve of this government uh, to the alliance and to its own military protection. 